Hi everyone, and today we are going to be looking at my SMD soldering reflow oven. Uh, this is the T962A. These are fairly common. Uh, well, at least the 962 is. The A is a bigger model. Um, I think these are the better ones to go for, as they actually have better heat distribution. With this smaller oven, that is one of the, uh, the main problems it experiences. You get hot spots and you can end up scorching boards. So I went for the bigger one, and also you get the bigger drawer. Quite a nice usable draw space that, I'm not sure the exact, uh, exact size. Uh, just looking off the top of my head, that could be about, let's say, 30, 35 wide, maybe 40, 45 long, so pretty decent draw. Quite smooth actually, considering it's a cheap made oven. It needs a tiny bit of adjustment there, but it's not bad. Now, out of the box, this screen cover seems a bit scratched, I'll get some nose polish on that and make it look a bit nicer. Um, anyway, the main reason I'm doing this video is to basically explain what you need to do if you get one of these. Now, you do not want to just plug this straight in and start using it, uh, as there's a little bit of a problem with these from the factory, and it affects all of them. So what we need to do is we need to open this up first, and we'll take a look inside, and then everything should hopefully become apparent. Now, I've not actually opened one of these before, but I've done plenty of reading, so I'm going to spin it around. Thing. This is the point we're going to be attacking it. We need to get this top section off. So, looking at it, I think we're going to be taking off screws, just going around this edge. Mm, I think these ones hold the fan on. Let's start moving these top edge ones and the, and the sides and see where we get with it. But I think those are the right ones. Here with a really naff QC sticker. Hardly a warranty sticker, is it? How's that looking? Ah, oh, that was way easier than I expected, to be honest. All the screws are the same size as well, so you don't really have to worry about where they're going to go. Make sure you put them to one side nice and safe. Let's just move this bit forward. Hmm. Not quite got it on there. Okay, I am not sure how that front edge is held on. Let me have a closer look at it. Right, I've lifted it up so I can see from the underneath and straight away I've spotted there's a couple of screws. So we've got one here under the lip. I can't really show you the door open. So I've got one about here, yeah? And then one just down here. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of line up the slats on this. See if we get a screwdriver through it. So we can kind of just about. I'm not sure if this is the normal way of doing things, but it seems difficult. I wonder if this drawer comes out, maybe. Not sure, but anyway, this is the way I'm attacking it for now, unless I get stuck. I can't get to that one. Oh uh, wait, I've just found some awkwardly placed release tabs, let's just put this back into frame. Okay, so, just on the rails here we've got release tabs. Uh, one moves down, that's on the right, and the other one moves up. That's kind of awkward. And then, there we go, the drawer is out, so now we can get proper access instead of messing around. There we go, right, so we've got a screw here, and a screw here. Easy when you know how. I reckon that's going to be it. Let's uh, place it back down. Oh, let's see how well you can see it. Okay, so the reason that we've had to open this up should hopefully be obvious now. There is masking tape here on top of the heat shielding. Now the first time you heat this up, all the glue on this masking tape is going to melt and it is going to smell absolutely terrible. 
apparently you can't get rid of smell in your house for weeks so the absolute first thing you've got to do if you buy one of these ovens is take it apart and take the masking tape off well what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with this uh, polyamide tape this is high temperature tape so this won't melt as easily this is the sort of browny yellow tape you see often known as Capton tape so you should be able to find this at you know electronic suppliers, eBay, places like that. It's fairly common, so we'll get some of that on. Uh, right, so I think I'll have to disconnect some of these wires, give me better access, and then we'll have a go at doing that. Actually, I'm not going to disconnect anything, I'm just going to place that to the side. I'm not sure how easily this comes off. It's just like, it's literally just like masking tape. Yeah, this is, you know, it's not, it's not a bad looking oven, it's fairly decent quality in terms of the metal construction, it's just it's got shoddy things like this where we put tape on it. So uh, let's get all this off. doesn't want to come off. Anyway, you are getting the idea. I'll just go and finish this off camera. You don't need to see me picking away at tape for five minutes. So we'll be back in a minute. Right, so I'll show you this bit. There's this sort of bit of insulation that goes in here, at the front. And that's got tape on as well. So you have to pull that out from underneath here, at the front, and get the masking tape off that as well. Okay, let's just uh, move out a bit so you can see. And that's it. I didn't show you go sticking on, but it's literally just sticking a few strips of this polyamide tape over this front area here, up to this first temperature sensor. And that's about it. At least for stage one. There's other improvements we need to do for this oven, but for now we just want to get rid of that ma nasty masking tape so we don't have to smell burning throughout the house. I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod and we'll do a few close-up looks to see what's going on. Okay, let's take a close up. So, we've got a couple of temperature sensors there poking through the insulation. There's some insulation and there's some silver foil reflective tape. Uh, and I think it's actually facing the wrong way, in fairness. The silver side should probably be facing the other way to keep heat in. Um, but I'm sure it's doing something. We've got the polymer tape stuck at the front. That's our mains transformer to work the electronics. That looks like a solid state relay and. Let's see where those wires go. From the look of it, they're going to the heating elements, which again are underneath here. Uh, what have we got there? That's the mains input and the main switch. Not too bad wiring. We've got heat shrink on there. Yeah, that's kind of reasonable. And then we'll check out the quality of this earth. It looks reasonable. Decent looking relay. Let's just lift and have a look inside here. Okay, so we have four heating tubes running horizontally across. You can see the two thermocouples poking through down there. Uh, slide rails and vent at the back for the fan and vent at the bottom for air to be removed during the cooling phase. That's all it is to the base unit. Let's try and look at the electronic side. So this is where the wiring goes to the back side at the top. What we've got is a cooling fan. We've got the LCD display, got two, I think they're LEDs, yep, two LEDs there for status. And then we've got, this is like the microcontroller board here, actually controls everything. Drives the LCD, actually controls things switching on and off. And what's this? This, this is a triac board, yeah, that's it. I'll try there. Uh, let me think, so this triac is going con to control the fan I think on this one yes yeah, so that controls the fan to turn the fan on and off so at, during the cooling cycle it can basically get the air, hot air out quicker the solid state relay at the back controls the heating elements and that's it that's pretty much all there is to it there are some modifications we can do to improve things but for now I'm now I've actually got rid of the masking tape I'm just going to give it a test run and see if it works and see see how well, it, how well it does without the modifications first so I hope you found this uh, useful if you've got one of these make sure you follow these steps get that tape out and you should be good thanks for watching